I'd like to welcome you to Creating Sacred Space in Our Lives. I am Tripp Martin, the pastor of Auburn First Baptist Church at the corner of College and Glen in Auburn, Alabama. In this semester, in the fall of 2021, we are talking about what it means to love our neighbor, learning from the life and ministry and faith of Fred Rogers. And one of the things which Mr. Rogers always recognized was the importance of awe and wonder in the way that a child learns and grows and develops. But so much about our lives as we grow up is rooted in a sense of wonder or curiosity or awe for what we see and experience around us. Perhaps as a child, you got a chemistry set as a Christmas present or birthday present one year, and you felt like a mad scientist, creating space in the kitchen or out on the back patio and started mixing things together, that you were going to create something the world has never seen before. Now, there are all those science experiments at hand that we find on websites, even like Pinterest, where you can create your own lava lamp with things that you find in the pantry at home, that you can Make your own snow, even in the middle of July in Alabama, that you can make what's called elephant toothpaste, this foam that seems to grow and get bigger and wider and is just out of control. But the best parts of those science experiments are not the reactions of the ingredients but the reaction of children, that their eyes get big and they stand up and watch with such awe and wonder. Fred Rogers once said, did you know that when you marvel, you are learning? And we can learn so much about awe and wonder and faith from children. Because faith needs awe and wonder. Jesus once said, truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Now there is a difference between childish and childlike. That Jesus also said we are to put away childish things by looking at the world through love and grace. But we are called to become childlike. That we arrive to this world as a child with nothing but the grace of God. And we are in awe and wonder of such grace. On his television show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Fred Rogers was always taking children on field trips to various factories, showing them how things were made, how to make erasers, how to make crayons, how to make macaroni, how to make bagels, how to make colored construction paper, how to make guitars. All of these items that children interacted with in their daily lives, they could watch with awe and wonder to discover everything that took place to create those items. And not only that, he would invite musicians and artists to join him on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yo-Yo Ma, the grand cellist, Eric 
Carl, the author and illustrator, Tony Bennett, the singer, the dance theater of Harlem, Stomp, the percussion performers, Julia Child, the well-known chef, Wynton Marsalis, the jazz trumpeter, Ying Lee, the ballet dancer, Susie McConnell, the basketball player. He would invite them onto the show and ask them to demonstrate what they did, to play music, to perform, to teach. And the children would sit back in awe and wonder. When Rogers was a child, he oftentimes did not feel like he fit in. So he turned his, t- his attention to reading stories, listening to music, playing with puppets. He discovered and held on to the importance of awe and wonder. How it can open our lives and our hearts and our minds to so much. And in many ways, through worship and service and mission, the church holds on to awe and wonder in the same way because it can lead us again to the grace of God, that it has so much to teach us about a life of faith, that we learn about the love of God and about ourselves and about our neighbor, that we practice a holy imagination, thinking about what God hopes for the world through song, prayer, scripture, silence, table, baptism, through engaging the world, listening for people's needs, offering assistance, walking alongside, learning from others, and sharing a helping hand. That we hope to find an awe and wonder around what God's grace is up to throughout this world that we love God with heart, soul, mind, and strength. And one of the ways that Fred Rogers reminds us to love God is with our minds, that as we encounter awe and wonder, we are encouraged to ask questions. Children can teach us about this because they are so good at asking questions. We might be confronted with those questions and unsure how to answer them. Why did God create the world? Why do we believe in God? Why did Jesus feed the 5,000? What is the Spirit of God? We might sit in silence, unsure about how to answer those questions, but the questions are important nonetheless. Because eventually, our questions lead us to awe and wonder. Fred Rogers once said, we can't always know what's behind a child's question, but if we let a child know we respect the question, We're letting that child know that we respect him or her. What a powerful way to say, I care about you. That in asking questions, it is another way that we can care for one another. Where we are called to be more childlike. And we all have questions. Questions about life and faith. 
through our experience of struggle or heartache, through our experience of creation and beauty, through our experience of joy and celebration, that in the midst of all of those, we just might encounter awe and wonder which can lead us to the grace of God by widening our souls, opening our hearts, and keeping our minds engaged. As Jesus says, it is a child-like faith. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we encounter awe and wonder around us, help us to pause, to listen, to ask questions, and to seek your presence. May we discover yet again your grace, which is all around us. Open our lives to your presence as we find it throughout this week. Amen. If you want more information about Auburn First Baptist, you can find it at auburnfbc.org.